hello in this video let's talk about one of the nice and important feature of sql server 2019 data discovery and classification report in sql server 2019 see this section help us in discovering classifying labeling and reporting the sensitive data in your database this one we are going to do by using sql server management studio or tsql here discovering and classifying your most sensitive data will play a an important role in the organizational protection structure ideally when you take a, a business financial and healthcare domains this classification plays a vital role so this really helps you to meet the data privacy standards and also it helps you to monitor the access to the databases or columns containing highly sensitive data on the whole with the help of this data discovery and classification report you can easily identify what are all the sensitive columns in the report what are all the non sensitive columns in the sql server then how to work with this we'll see practically there are multiple actions are happening here if you see the first one is discovery and recommendations so what exactly the discovery and recommendations is it is going to scan your database and identifies the columns containing potentially sensitive data and once the scan is completed then it provides you a report and it also shows you the recommendations based on the data see i am going to scan on the top of existing data okay so that gives us a report with the recommendations so let us say you you are using a column as password okay then it say it show it shows as a sensitive something like that and also next one is labeling so with the help of the data discovery and classification uh, section you can label the up, uh, new columns which are coming into the database or you can update the existing columns labels as well and also the next one is visibility or report that report gives you the detailed uh, uh, information which in a printed or exported format for us and we can use that for audit or compliance purposes and other needs so here you need to know what label you need to give it to the column and what is the type of the information you need to know so let's see practically so how to work with data discovery and classification uh, feature in sql server let's quickly fire up sql server management studio so here i am using sql server management studio 18.9 okay so you can uh, uh, you might have seen by opening or even you can quickly see here okay 18.9.1 see this feature you can run now on the top of previous version of sql server but you need to have a latest version of sql server management studio i mean 17.5 onwards only it works okay so now uh, let me expand the databases if you see i have around like a five or six databases user databases so how to run first of all a report on the top of existing uh, uh, database so right click on any database okay i'm i'm going to show you on a, a small database then i'll go on a adventure works right click on Adv examples okay so if you see task will be there just select the task under the task you you have a couple of options if you come from top you will be having data discovery and classification 
you just select that and uh, go right and see couple of more options are there you can say classify data so or generate data generate the data means it gives you the data it gives you the report with the as is condition okay so let me click on generate a report so once i click on generate a report so here if you see in my entire db so out of 11 columns it's very small db okay so out of 11 columns one column is classified and also out of four tables one table is having some uh, classification and one unique uh, information type is one and also what is the information type i made as general okay this is a report but how to classify it and how to take the recommendations from microsoft sql server okay so right click on the same database go to task and again go to data discovery and classification and click on classify data so once you classify data how many columns are classified you can see here only one column is classified then where to add a classification is if you see in the right uh, top here add a classification view report and refresh okay let's click on add classification so once i click on add classification in the right extreme right section i i got a sec, uh, pop up or window like add classification showing a schema and table i'm going to select a table as employee here you can select whatever the table you want and select the column as employee name and information type as a contact info or credentials credit card banking and all or nj at the end you can see take it as contact info and either sensitivity label it is a confidential or public general or gdpr highly confidential id confidential gdpr are not available so I'm, I'm going to make it as a confidential that's okay okay let's click on add once you click on add you get one more option here and you are at to save this the, there are pending classification updates please save so once i click on save okay so now if i click on view report i can go directly to the report in the earlier way or i can click on view report here so once i click on view report i get a report like this so out of 11 columns two are classified and you can see a, a, a pie diagram um, here like this half of the uh, uh, color as general half of the information as confidential like this because i have only two columns one is general one is uh, confidential that is the reason 50 percent is occupied both and the total information type is from contact info only the type i gave it as a contact info only okay so in the same way now let's go back to here and let's add one more classification so uh, employee table and id uh, employee name already classified you cannot add a separate classification once it's already done now let's come back id information type as <laughs> i can make it as a national id okay so national id by default it coming as a conventional gdpr but you can change whatever you want okay click on add so now save this okay and click on view report so now you can change the uh, picture here so it uh, total three columns are uh, classified and uh, each uh, uh, section is occupied around 33 percent something like that <laughs> okay and even information type distribution also two are uh, contact info one is a national id okay and how many tables i did is con uh, classification is two tables out of four so this is how we are going to uh, uh, get the classification report uh, and this is how we are going to add a classifications then where are the uh, recommendations actually you can see no classification recommendations because my database is very basic database which is having only 11 columns so i cannot expect the recommendation from microsoft sql okay let's close all this and now i'll go to the adventure box okay so i i am planning to use adventure box oltp 2019 so now in the same actions i'm going to perform there so right click on it so click on task and click on um, data discovery and classification click on generate report first okay here say this is a, a, a database which is uh, uh, developed uh, by microsoft for our examples practice purpose okay i downloaded and restored here okay none of the columns are classified and none of the tables are uh, added here and zero unique information because none of the columns are classified now let's come to the same and let's go to the classify option here classified data so once you click on classify data so this might take a while again the report uh, or this options takes a while based on the size of the db now you can see here 32 columns with classification recommendations click to view here i i got some recommendations actually so let's select this so here you can see it now the table name is error log username credentials you want to keep it data birth conventional gdpr national id conventional gdpr and so on you can see so this is financial yeah purchasing vendor account number financial conventional okay 
I'm going to save, I'm going to take, I, I want to accept this all as a, this one. I want to save or something like that. I can take it and uh, I can select this or I can, I can, uh, whatever I want, I can save this. Okay. Or if I don't want, I can, uh, I can save this and one select it and accept the selected recommendations. I'm, I'm, I'm going to accept everything. Okay. I've accepted these all. Okay. So now, uh, now if you go to the report, let's, let's click on view report. There you understand. Uh, let me click on refresh. Okay. Let me see. It is not accepted. Here. Okay. I need to save this. Okay. So now save is done. Then you come, I uh, click on view report or you can go here and click on refresh here. So once you refresh here, you can see a nice picture here. So out of 486 columns, 32 columns are classified as um, confidential and couple conventional, couple or conventional GDPR. And here, if you see the information types, couple or contact info, couple or credentials, couple or credit card, couple of data birth, financial name and national ID, if you see here. So here also, here out of 71 tables, 16 tables are classified as a sensitive data. So now this report, you can see here also, uh, what is the schema and table and all you can see in the detailed information here. Okay. Even what all the columns and all you can see here. Okay. So this is how you get a report in the SQL Server Management Studio. Okay. You can save this, you can print this report or you can save it and you can use it for audit or some other purposes. So that's how we are going to classify and generate a reports by using SQL Server 2019. So that's all about it. In the similar way, you can you can achieve the same information by using uh, the, the query from a system uh, tables and system objects. So that's also that's it. So uh, please let me know if you have any questions on this concepts. Thank you. Thank you for watching.